Hu Chake English for Teens. Welcome to Hu Chake English for Teens. I'm Alex Sharar. And I'm Josh Barnard. Let's get started by watching today's skit. There you are. Do you want to grab a coffee after school? Sorry, I'm meeting Reno. Are you working today? I could go for some ramen. I think Hillary's mad at me. Did I do something? Don't look at me. I don't know how girls' minds work. Uh oh. It looks like Hillary really is mad. Yeah, I guess she does think that something is going on between David and Becca. Yeesh. What should he do? Don't look at me. Wait a minute. I felt like I heard that expression recently. Kamal just said it, you dum dum. Don't look at me is an expression we use when we want to say we can't or didn't do something. Right. It's usually said as a response to a question. In this week's issue, it meant, I don't know the answer. A similar phrase for this situation would be, don't ask me. Don't look at me can also be used when you've been accused of something. Okay, who ate all the pizza? Don't look at me. And finally, it can be used to refuse a request. Who wants to give us one last example before we end this section? Don't look at me. Our doshi no tetsujin point for today is about the verb work. You are probably familiar with the meaning do a job, but there are many other ways the verb can be used. In this week's issue, Kamal said, I don't know how girls' minds work. In this case, work means operate or function. Usually, when it is used this way, it is talking about something like a tool or a system. For example, how do magnets work? Or, my brain isn't working very well today. In addition, when talking about a plan or method, work can also mean succeed. For example, did the medicine work? Or, your plan to rule the world will never work. Oh. That reminds me, the new superhero movie is out tonight. Do you want to go? I would, but I need to work on my computer. The internet isn't working. I tried restarting it, but it didn't work. Oof, that sounds like a lot of work. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out, and don't forget to have fun. See you next week. English for